Welcome back to Coffee with Carrie Lynn. It's a humid day here in the far north of Maine. One day I'm in a sweatshirt, the next day it's a tropical paradise up along the Canadian border in the crown of Maine. I hope everyone is having a nice warm sunny summer day wherever you may be. I hope you're having a day filled with fabulosity and good coffee because everybody deserves a decent cup of coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, today we are going to be talking about the 2.9 billion social security numbers that were hacked and stolen. And I know the news is saying if your social security number was possibly stolen. Nope, your social security number has been stolen, ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world and go check your credit reports check the credit reports of your children to see if there's any weird wild fraudulent activity happening on your credit reports we'll get into that in a little bit and we are going to be talking about the HAVV system what is the HAVV system care well the HAVV system is the system that the states use it's the help America vote verification system and every single state uses this system to verify people registering to vote without a government ID but before we begin ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel recently and I want to thank everybody who has been a long-term subscriber you guys know I appreciate you so much any attention is good attention on these platforms and we are really building a community here on coffee with Carrie Lynn I am a variety show I talk about whatever pops into my head generally it flies out my mouth and often we're all surprised by what I have to say I talk about my homestead I talk about livestock I talk about gardening canning preserving prepping I talk about survival I talk about the economy the news, world news, politics, local news. I talk about spirituality. I talk about life, love, liberty, the pursuit of your happiness and my happiness. I talk about kids, big kids, little kids, adult kids, grandkids. I talk about anything and everything that strikes my fancy. Sometimes we do entertainment news. Sometimes I do conversations at the spinning wheel where I spin my wool and we just have a story about my grandparents experience in the Great Depression so we just kind of do it all here but if today is not your type of show please do not unsubscribe to the channel simply swipe away and come back another day and I might be talking about something you would like to talk about I also want to give a special thank you to every single person who has commented in my comment section on other videos we have been having some amazing conversations in those comment sections I want to thank all of my subscribers and you know who you are that email me various information and just email me to chit chat we are building a community here on coffee with Carrie Lynn and I just I love people and I love hearing everyone's opinion about all the different topics and I feel I have made a few amazing new friends through this platform and I'm very very happy and excited to have each and every one of you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down any attention is good attention ladies and gentlemen beautiful creatures of the world let's get into today's show the 2.9 billion social security numbers that were hacked into and stolen. What do I think happened? I have no idea. I have no idea who hacked them. I have no idea really why they hacked them. But I wanna tell you a story about what I have been watching, oh, the last six months on the HAVV system, which is the Help America Voter Verification System. And like I said, every single state uses this verification system to verify whether people are actual eligible voters when they sign up at town hall or city hall and you don't have a government ID so they can't prove who you are 
They take all the information you have supplied al along with your social security number and they send it into the state. The states then, once a week, send all that information into the Social Security Administration to match the information that was given to the Social Security number that was provided by the person without the identification. And every single week, the Social Security Administration does this, and then they categorize through their w website to the state how many living eligible registered voters that they should have, how many people who tried to register with a deceased person's social security number and information, how many were ineligible. So um, what is happening and what I have been noticing on the HAVV verification website, which is if you go to ssa.gov and just type in HAVV, it will give you the area of the website where the verifications are taking place. You can click any single week of the year 2024. I think it goes back further than that. But every single week of the year 2024, you can see how many people have tried to register to vote in each and every state using only a social security number and no government ID. And some of the highest states trying to verify a hundred thousand social security numbers a week, 74,000 social security numbers against the voter registration information. 40,000 in some states. The highest states seem to be those states where illegal aliens are being readily accepted. And I've been following this and it's an anomaly and I wasn't sure what was going on. And then we find out just the other day that in April, the website was hacked and 2.9 billion. I need to stress that. 2.9 billion social security numbers were hacked into. Not only did they get the social security number itself, but they got the names, the birth dates, the addresses, the telephone numbers, the emails, and every single name or alias attached to that social security number. So if you ever went to sign up for a credit card and the credit card company typed your name in wrong, it became an alias, and you started getting junk mail with your a, va a different variation of your name, maybe they left off the hyphen in your name, that becomes an alias. It becomes another name that the government feels that you have used in conjunction with your social security number. If you have gotten married and changed your name, your last name, to your spouse's last name, your maiden name and your married name are now associated with your social security number and that information is there. If you are in the witness protection program, you all got a huge problem at this point because all that information has been stolen as well. What do I think is going to happen with this information? Well, I think the timing is absolutely perfect because we're getting close to November now. And I think the timing of the year was perfect. Like I said, they were stolen in April. The information is coming out now. So hurry and please go check your credit reports. Please go check your young children's credit reports because this is a big deal. I know the news is saying maybe, possibly, your social security number was stolen. 2.9 billion numbers. I can confidently say all of our information, you, me, your kids, your grandkids, old people, young people, babies, they got it all, ladies and gentlemen. 
they got it all on everyone and people are saying that the information is up on the dark web that it, you know it's going to be sold it's going to be given for free i don't know what is going to happen i don't know if that is going to happen i don't know if people are going to use everybody's information and try to take loans and mortgages and all kinds of nonsense out in other people's names i don't know but i do know one thing in april on the havv website was a significant spike of states trying to verify the identity and the eligibility of people signing up to vote without government IDs but with social security numbers. So at this point now I, now I'm starting to understand possibly understand what has happened now that we know that there was a breach in our system for the number that basically controls your life your social security number that is the most important number in your life it follows you everywhere you go from the cradle to the grave and I just don't know how nefarious it is going to get. We are now discovering it happened. We are close to November. Hmm. Are we all going to show up at the voting booth and find out we already voted? Who knows? Who knows? It's a theory. It's a theory. Are we going to go check our credit scores and find out everybody has been ruined? Millions and millions of people have been ruined because people in foreign countries have used our information and taken out loans, mortgages. I don't know. What is the government going to do to fix this? They don't know. They have no clue what to do at this point. Um... There's no solution. It's just happened. The only solution that there is at this time is for you to freeze your credit. Go to one of the three big outlets that handle the credit reporting and freeze your credit. It does not cost a thing to do. Um, it's very easy. You just get on the websites. You answer the question, you freeze your credit. Now, what will happen is if you want to go for a loan or you have a loan going through right now or a mortgage going through right now, you are going to have to unfreeze your credit score, your credit, your social security number. And uh, really, that's the only protection that you have at this point. So if you are waiting for a loan to go through, I wouldn't advise you to freeze your credit. But if you are not waiting for a loan to go through and you are not anticipating getting a loan anytime soon just go and freeze your credit we here on the homestead do everything in cash we've been doing everything in cash for 20 years cash is king i froze our credit a long time ago because we just don't use it and on the off chance that we have to use it or open up a bank account we unfreeze the credit and then we freeze it right back up after the transaction is done. So there you have it. It is going to be a nightmare. That is my take on it. Now, if I put on my conspiratorial hat, a little tinfoil hat that I sometimes wear, especially on Conspiracy Theory Tuesday, I think that maybe something more nefarious than these numbers being siphoned to people who are trying to register to vote without ID. And I'm thinking that perhaps in a nefarious tinfoil hat, very kind of way, that with everybody's social security numbers being hacked into, I don't think that our brilliant politicians or this administration, they're not, they, don't, they don't give a crap about what just happened. They ain't making no moves to help you out. Um, they're, they're, they are coming out with no solutions, so you're on your own, as we often are and just don't realize. 
Uh, I think if I want to think about something a lot more nefarious, if all our information's been compromised, a new system has to be set up, doesn't it? And everything has to start again, and everybody's information has to be put into a different system, a new system, I don't know. The NWO comes to mind, which you can't mention on this platform. Type it into Google under conspiracy theories. You'll find out what I'm talking about. And maybe it's a w new way to usher in a new era, so to speak. I don't know. That's when I'm getting deep down into the super nefarious ideas. You know, they want, they want, uh, they want digital currency. They want everybody doing things a completely different way. And isn't this just brilliant? Isn't this just a brilliant hack where each and every one of us have been compromised, but not only our social security numbers, which we do fling around way too freely. They were, so your social security number, when it was thought of, was never meant to be used in the ways that we use it, such as giving it to your utility companies, such as giving it to banks, such as giving it to credit card companies. That was never the intent of the social security number when it first came around. It was to identify us to the government for different purposes, but it was never supposed to be used to be given away freely because that would cause a compromise. But things change, things happen. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, in all honesty, this is a grave situation and keep an eye on your credit score. And if you are able to, my best advice to you is to just freeze your credit at this point and... We're all going to wait this out to find out what Washington's going to do about this. And I'm, I'm sure not much is going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, be the kindness you want to see in the world today. Live life from your heart. And as always, carpe diem, because no one promised you a tomorrow.